sailed through the ground like an Alice. Oh, what a sound! This must be a nest. I got rocks and sticks against my chest. I'm Sway there in all the colors. Some love, lonesome dove, folded on the lawn chair in all the colors. Some Stop giving back Honeysuckle, fresh cut grass I could really use some stuff like that everyone I hope you are well this is gonna be another day in the life video so so far today I did my exercise this morning I then had a shower I straightened my hair put some makeup on and we actually have an appointment at a bathroom showroom so I'm gonna film the bathroom showroom so you can see around it and I'll show you what we're actually gonna choose gonna choose some tiles and stuff so I've got a pretty chill day today but I'll just film throughout the day and I hope you enjoyed this video Oh, Susanna, don't cry for me We had some good years, so let me be The world goes on, I sang my song I gave my own true love for you to see Oh, Susanna don't you cry yeah i have my travel sickness bands on if anyone uses this tell me do take them off because i always just use mine when i go out so if i'm going in the car i'll just keep them on so i'm going in here i'll just put my sleeve over them and keep them on the whole entire time that i'm out but do you take them off and then only put them on when you're in the car let me know quite like this I would love something like this but our space is not big enough to have a bath it's only big enough for a shower but look at the like feet on it and a nice toilet huge sink massive mirror massive shower oh my god <laughs> look how big that is oh my god it's got two shower heads and then look how huge this unit is. Like our bathroom is probably just the size of this. It's very long and narrow. So this would definitely not fit in it. But this would be a nice bathroom. But not for us. Ooh, that's nice. A little sink. With a mirror. Oh wow. You'd have to have a huge bathroom to have it like that. Look how big it is. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed. I'm back home now. We didn't end up buying a bathroom because they didn't really have what we were looking for. But I thought I would show you this book that I'm currently reading. It's Mary Higgins Clark, Remember Me. And I am absolutely loving it. So it's about this couple. Their son has died and now they have a new baby. And he died in a tragic accident. And they want to start a new life in the Cape. So they've gone there for the summer to see if they could live there full time. At the same time, a murder has happened. And a very wealthy woman has died and her husband has inherited everything and they've not been married very long and everyone thinks that the young man has killed his new rich wife so that he can inherit their money inherit her money and have it all for himself 
and then it's speculation so it's their neighbors what they speculate about it the woman next door actually has alzheimer's and she only remembers clippets of information that are like vital for the case it seems because she remembers certain people that other people don't know there's it follows a detective it follows a woman who's selling the house to the couple who are there for the summer and then the couple that are there for the summer the husband who's a lawyer decides to defend the young man and say that he didn't kill his wife loving it so far paced absolutely adoring it so much so far i would highly recommend it even though i haven't finished it i just I'm adoring it every it's got it's got oh my god it's got so much it's got a really spooky element of it almost like a haunting element because she goes into a room and the baby's cradle is rocking by itself there's no one in the room is the house haunted what on earth's going on and then she's doing research into who was in this house originally what happened to them dun 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 highly recommend this book Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mount Laurel Heights. Dom is rescuing the ladybird. Go on, go on the paper, and then we can put you outside. Oh, she's not having it. You can do it. <laughs> she's on the lampshade. Dom is standing on the bed. So he can free her. You can see Dom's shadow there. Oh my god, she's flying again. Calm down, we're trying to save you. She's back on the bed. It's tense. Dom's just putting her out the window there. Fly into the night, fly away. This is Ladybird is finally free. I get way too attached to animals that aren't mine because for a moment when she was flying around the room, we couldn't get her out. I thought, what if we just get her and keep her as a pet? <laughs> like, what if we put her in a dish or something and keep her as a pet? There was a bird the other day that was squawking at me, this bird, and I thought, what if I put a lead around its neck and just took it home with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just look in animals eyes. And the ladybird, I didn't even see her eyes, but I just felt a connection with her and I want to I want to keep them. But it is a little bit like Tiger King, Joe Exotic, like I don't want to free them back into the wild. I want to keep them enclosed. For miles in spring.